happy 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 new year boys and girls so good to see you we have missed you welcome again to church my name is teacher fred and i want to welcome you to church today now before we get started and go dancing a little bit let us start with a word of prayer father in heaven we thank you for this new year we thank you for each boy and girl at home listening and watching us father we pray for each one of them and we pray that you're going to give us hearing we can hear your word and in the end father that we will implement everything you will tell us in jesus name we pray amen amen so boys and girls before we go to today's lesson it is time to dance, praise, so let us all get up, get up, get up. Oh, why are you still sitting down? You need to stand up, stand up, stand up. Let us get some room, let us get some space and get ready to dance for God and praise the name of Jesus. So without any further ado, let us go into a time of praise and dance. Welcome. <laughs>
it is so good to see you and welcome 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 i hope you're excited about the year 2021 i know most of you are back in school and we pray that the lord will be with you as you go through this year's school again so today's lesson boys and girls is about how god's world got spoiled about what about how god's world got spoiled and we are going to learn today that adam and eve disobeyed god and because of this disobedience sin entered into the world so when we are learning about how God's world got spoiled, we are going to see how sin entered into the world. Have you ever wondered, boys and girls, how there's so much suffering in the world, how there's so much pain, how people like hating each other and just beating each other and doing all kinds of bad things to each other stealing, killing, and corruption around the whole world. Have you ever wondered where all this came from? Well, today we are going to see how sin entered into the world. How what? How sin entered into the world. And do you know what, boys and girls? It is not only Adam and Eve who sinned against God. We are going to see that me and you also disobey God. And because of this, we need to be sorry for our sins and we need to seek forgiveness from God. So, last lesson we learned that God made the whole earth and he said everything was perfect. And he put Adam and Eve to rule and take care of all his creation. But after he had done this, do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? God's enemy, Satan, you know God's enemy, Satan? The devil. He came into the garden where Adam and Eve were disguised as a serpent, as a snake crawling down. And then he spoke to Eve. What did he tell Eve? He told Eve, if, if you eat of the fruit that God told you not to eat, you will know the difference between good and evil. And you will be just like God. The devil lied to Eve and told Eve, if you disobey God, you will be just like God. Ha! Ah, do you know what happened? Eve took the fruit and she ate it. And then she gave the same fruit to Adam, her husband who was with her, right there. And Adam ate it too. Whoa! These guys actually dare to disobey God. And do you know what? They ate the fruit and disobeyed God. And so that same evening, God wanted to talk to Adam and Eve. And so when he visited them in the garden, you know what happened? They hid away from God. Ah, they knew they had done something wrong. They had disobeyed God by eating the fruit which God told them not to eat. And so they hid from God. Let me ask you, boys and girls, have you ever disobeyed someone, maybe dad or mom or your teacher or someone at home? How did it feel like? Were you tempted to hide? Yeah, maybe you ate something you were not supposed to eat. Were you tempted to lie? Wow, boys and girls, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they 
entered into a bad relationship with God. And so this ruined their relationship. And when God visited them because he knew they had disobeyed him, he actually knew that even though he loved them very much, he had to punish their disobedience because God is perfect and he must punish sin. And so boys and girls, you know what? When this happened, God took Adam and Eve out of the garden where he had made the world perfect and he set them away from the garden. And from that day is when thorns and thistles and bad things and illnesses and diseases, animals started getting sick and humans also started getting sick because, because, because of disobeying God. And worst of all, that is how death entered into God's world. Boys and girls, do you see how painful disobeying God is? And so we should learn that if we disobey God, if we disobey God, if we disobey God, it will cause pain. But because God loves us very much, he already made a plan for our disobedience. And what is that plan? Because of his love for us, he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to be crucified, to die on the cross, to be buried and rise again, so that my sins and your sins can be forgiven and that we may have eternal life with God. And so boys and girls, as we come to the end of our lesson today, I hope you now know that God's creation, God's world was spoiled because of disobedience. However, God has already made a plan to save us from this sin by sending his son to die on the cross. And that if we believe on his son, Jesus Christ, we will be forgiven of our sins and we will have eternal life with him. Wow. So that brings us to the end of our lesson today. But let me see if you are paying attention. So I'm going to ask you a question. How did Eve disobey? How did Eve disobey God? Huh? Great, that is right. Eve disobeyed God by eating of the fruit, accepting to listen to Satan and eating of the fruit that he had told them not to eat. And so I hope you learn today not to disobey God and always to make sure you stay in God's word and do not disobey God. Wow, wasn't that lesson a great lesson? So it is time for our memory verse. Yay! And so I want to invite a special friend of mine, Elsie, to share with us the memory verse. Welcome, Elsie. Hi, my name is Elsie Pendo, and today we have a memory verse, and let's say it. Romans chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Now we have been put right with God through faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Let us say it again. Romans chapter 5, verse 1, it says, now we have been put right with God 
through faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am so excited. I can't wait to keep that memory verse in my heart. Thank you so much, Elsie. And so, boys and girls, it is now time for money for Jesus. Yeah. And so if you're home with dad and mom or with uh, someone, your brother or sister or someone at home, and you are ready to give money for Jesus, you can use the details scrolling under the screen and you can give your money for Jesus. Awesome. Did you know that we have so much fun activity on our website? Did you know that we have activities and fun things to do on our website? Now you can visit our website that is going down here on your screen. Can you see it? Right. You can visit online and access great many fun things to do that when you're after school, you can come home and not be bored and not just stay on TV, but go access and learn and be equipped and share with your friends. And so that brings us to the end of church and the end of our lesson today. And before we go, let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your great word today. We thank you for sending your son to die for us on the cross and to pay for our sins and our disobedience. We pray that you help us and we pray that you help every child in 2021 to be successful and to walk in the light of your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And now let us say the grace together. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you so much, boys and girls. See you next week. And remember that Jesus Christ has died for your sins and you are free. Goodbye.